the best way to to learn, like you said, is getting experience early in your career. But um, there would have been some challenging moments where you you know you're looking after athletes in rehab or you're diagnosing an injury. Um, there's pressure in elite sport, of course. So uh, how would you recommend for developing physios working in in that environment to make most of of mentors like Rob in your instance? Like how did it how did you make the most of those sort of resources? Yeah, look, I think um, best advice I, I could probably give is just to know your limitations. Um, you know, I, I definitely didn't know everything and I knew that and I was willing to admit that from, from an early age. Um, you know, that old saying, almost park your ego at the door. And um, it, it, yeah, for me, it was more, if I didn't know the answer, I, I wasn't afraid to call someone and be like, hey, look, I've just seen this injury, not quite sure what's going on. Do you mind having a second opinion for me or... And I still do that to this day, and I think that's that's something that, as a physio, um, yeah, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be ashamed to to be asking for help. As I said, I'm still doing that to this day. Still reach out to experts like like Craig Burdham and Jill Cook for tricky cases. Um, and yeah, I I just say that if you can you can surround yourself with with a good network of people that um, a are willing to give you the time, but b have, have sort of have been there and done it and sort of got their hands dirty themselves. Um, you've experienced. Um, many different um, roles that a physiotherapist can do in, in elite sport. What, what for, for the, from the rehab point of view, where you're sort of bridging that gap between, you know, acute management through to all the way, taking them back to return to performance. What are some areas that you feel physiotherapists um, may be surprised about when you, when you're taking on a rehab role compared to being a physiotherapist in a clinic? Um, I'd, I'd say the first thing is just, um, the amount of, say, strength conditioning and sports science knowledge that you need to have or, or that helps you in, in those roles. As I said, I think in a clinic, you you may get, get caught in this um, manual therapy model mindset, um, whereas in, in the rehab space, it's, that's still a big tool that we use, but it's very much exercise therapy and, and exercise progression. So... I guess expanding your knowledge in that was, was something that um, I had to do from, a, from the start. Um, you know, you really have to upskill in your exercise prescription and, and you know, I guess fine tune your rehab philosophies and, and focuses. Um, it's probably the biggest difference between, say, say a rehab role and, and your, you know, your nine to five clinical role. You mentioned earlier the challenges that the athlete goes through when they've had an injury and particularly those first 24 hours. Uh, how, what's part of your philosophy in terms of um, communicating with an athlete when once they're injured and they're you're looking after them, uh, so they're in the rehab group? Um, what do you find are some successful ways to, uh, I guess, support that athlete, but also maybe respect their space? Like, how do you like, take us through sort of, I guess, the art of the coaching side of things? Yeah, look, there's obviously you know, everyone goes through a grieving process and. Um, the, the severity of the injury might, might determine how long those processes are. You know, I've seen athletes that you know, might have a, a season-long injury and um, you almost need to let them go through that, you know, the anger phase and the, the denial and, and, and all those sorts of phases that they're going to go through. It's normal. And you sort of almost just have to be there and support them through that. Um, and then when the time is right, it's, it's trying to redirect their focus towards... Um, the rehab um, and, you know, saying, hey, look, this is a great opportunity for you to work on things you weren't good at before. Um, you know, I, I always say to the athletes that, you know, rehab's an opportunity to develop. Um, maybe it's, you know, they might have had a leg injury and they're going to be off feet for a little bit, um, but you can work on their upper body strength if, that, if that's something that the coaches want to work on with them or if that's something they want to develop. So, again, it's just sort of redirecting their focus a little bit towards things that they can do and, and what they are capable of doing. If you've got an athlete that is hitting all, all your markers and, and all your clinical assessments, and they're going really well from a physical point of view, however, they're they're not conf they're not confident within themselves. What are some uh, methods that you've lent on in those circumstances to try and boost confidence and, and boost their self esteem to, to return to play? I think it's a really important point, and just sort of reflecting on the question you asked earlier, it's probably one thing I didn't say is that um, athlete readiness is a huge indicator of, of sort of readiness to return and there's there's obviously quite a bit of literature around that um coming out now so i would actually say that even if you have ticked all your boxes and the athlete's saying i don't quite feel ready 
Um, that is something that probably would ring alarm bells and it would just make you think why. Um, knowing the athlete would help, you know, if they are an athlete who is typically say an over reporter and an anxious person generally, and maybe they're, they've got a bit of performance anxiety and that's maybe the reason they don't want to sort of go back to play, then, then that's something that you might target and be like, hey, you know, you look really good at the moment, get the coaches involved. Now uh, look, you know, you're looking great. Um, really happy with how you're playing and training. Uh, sorry, with how you're training. Um, that's probably one angle I'd go at it, you know, get coaches involved and, and get them to sort of help build confidence. 